Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, I'm Renee Summerauer. Thank you for joining us on 7 at 7. An East Valley Middle School reports teacher staffing issues due to absences. That starts your top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand's Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. For the third day in a row, a local school was hit with an influx of teacher and staff absences. This time, Monaco Middle School had to move some of their classes to larger areas of the campus after having, quote, an unexpected number of teacher absences Wednesday. Teachers union officials say that the absences are not associated with any union actions tied to the collective bargaining. In a message to parents, the school wrote that the majority of teachers were on campus and we are working to continue the instructional day with minimal disruption. If you or your student has been impacted by these absences, we want to hear from you. Comment below or email us at 7 at reviewjournal.com. CCSD officials and staff celebrated the grand opening of Northeast Career Technical Academy as the district's newest addition. Review Journal's James Schaefer has more from the ribbon cutting. Three, two, one! <laughs> Superintendent Jesus Jara, school member President Evelyn Garcia Morales, and members of the North Las Vegas City Council visited the North Las Vegas School, which opened in August and currently has about 700 students in 9th and 10th grades. The school offering 10 programs, Advanced Computer Science, Architectural Design, Automotive Technology, Business Management, Construction Technology, Cybersecurity, Energy Technology, Human and Social Services, Medical Professions, and Teaching and Training. It's also the first school in Nevada that's using a competency-based learning model. Students progress through their core classes, like English, Math, Science, and Social Studies, at their own pace. For the Las Vegas Review-Journal, I'm James Schaefer. Attorneys for Wynn Resorts and nine anonymous women who filed a 2019 sexual harassment lawsuit against the company have reached a settlement. Attorneys say an undisclosed settlement was reached and attorneys requested that action be dismissed. In more Wynn news, a district court has denied Steve Wynn and his legal team a chance for a jury trial. This is in relation to a long-running defamation lawsuit where Wynn sued Jorgen Nelson in 2018 for defamation. The lawsuit says Nelson claims Wynn chased her around a salon on property until she locked herself in a bathroom. But Wynn is legally blind, so disputes those claims. Wynn resigned as chairman and CEO in 2018. A woman loses a piece of her toe at a hotel room on the Strip after an alleged argument with a man. A 35-year-old man was arrested after the Monday incident at MGM Grand. The woman's name was redacted from the police report. She said after meeting at a bar and going up to the man's room, an argument occurred which led to part of her toe being severed after he slammed a door on her foot. For the full story, log on to LVRJ.com. In entertainment news, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Country music star Blake Shelton is preparing for his restaurant with some unique touches. Review Journal's John Katzlamides puts on his hard hat to bring you a look in progress. We're here at what will be Old Red Las Vegas on the corner of Flamingo Road and Las Vegas Boulevard. This here is a 1947 Farm All International Harvester Tractor. This is an actual operating tractor. It's not going to be operating here, though. It's going to be upside down over the main club when this place opens next year. This is a tradition at all of Blake Shelton's places. It, and I think for Las Vegas, they should cover it in mirrors and make it the disco tractor. So that's my hope, but we'll see what happens. America's Got Talent winner Shin Lim has been extended into 2024 at the Mirage. The magician's hit show called Limitless will run through April with tickets for the new dates on sale Friday at 10 a.m. on Ticketmaster. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. Sunny and light winds are in your forecast for today. Highs reaching around 99 degrees. Tonight, mostly clear skies, light winds coming from the southwest. Lows around 74 degrees. For the rest of the week, winds will increase heading into the weekend on Friday. Temps will also increase to the low 100s. Mostly clear to partly cloudy skies for your evenings. Lows staying in the upper 70s.
Sports brought to you by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. For the second time this week, Raiders defensive end Chandler Jones took to social media, this time posting a photo of the badge of a member of the city of Las Vegas crisis response team who appeared to be at his front door. Jones wrote, Raiders sent her to my place, said you need to come with us, you're in danger. His now deleted Instagram post also included practice film, text between he and Josh McDaniels, and more. As of Wednesday night, the team did not comment on the matter. Jones unloaded on social media with disparaging remarks about the Raiders on Tuesday and did not attend practice on Wednesday. In your business news, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, first Formula One and next air races? Well, it all could be a possibility, according to Las Vegas Spaceport CEO Robert Lauer. Lauer is trying to build a spaceport in Clark County just off State Highway 160, and his future plans include staging Las Vegas air races next October between Las Vegas and Pahrump. The vehicles have speeds of up to 500 miles per hour faster than any F1 race car, according to Lauer. Clark County officials had no immediate reaction to plans or the status of permits for the event. Las Vegas is topping another list, this time for the food scene captured on your smartphone. Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen at Caesars took the top spot, followed by Bacchanal Buffet, also at Caesars. Also making the list at number 11 is Vanderpump at Paris and Catch at Aria coming in at number 18. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The NFL season kicks off tonight in Kansas City and the defending Super Bowl champion Chiefs are four and a half point favorites over the visiting Lions at the Westgate Superbook. Detroit is plus 180 on the money line and the total is 52 and a half, which is the highest on the board for the opening week. The spread open for the Chiefs at minus seven in May, but has been impacted by the uncertain status of Kansas City tight end Travis Kelsey, who sustained a knee injury in practice on Tuesday. In health news, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital, we're here for you when you need us. An initiative from Orange Theory Fitness is challenging industry norms when it comes to health. The Long May We Gain pledge hopes to set a new narrative around fitness goals based on everything we gain by working out, rather than focusing on what we can lose. The campaign is behind new classes at Orange Theory that encourages 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous physical activity weekly, along with full body strength training. Members can try the new classes on September 23rd as part of the studio's game day. Thank you for watching 7 at 7 a.m. I'm Renee Summerauer. Want to stay up to date with breaking news as it happens? Just hit the subscribe button down below to get live updates and reminders on YouTube. We'll see you here each weekday morning and night on 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. The 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.